Today we are inside an F-16IN simulator which is being offered to Indian Air Force under MMRCA program and we have Jeff who will explain us what makes this machine far more superior than other aircrafts. Jeff? Hi, how are you? How are you Jeff? Good. So Jeff, tell me about this machine. What makes it better than other aircrafts? Well first let's start with just the F-16. I've flown the older versions of the F-16 and there's no comparison with this airplane because it has basically all new uh, avionics and it has a new engine and together it's like having an old computer. The box may look the same but it's all new components inside. Okay. Um, some of the more striking capabilities are our ESA radar. And the ESA radar on this airplane is proven. We've been uh, flying it in production and operationally for over five years now. And the ESA radar allows us to do multiple things at the same time. And probably one of the most other um, striking features of the S-16IN is its ability to fuse and correlate data. It can take uh, sensor information from multiple onboard okay. and offboard sensors and put that together and display it to the pilot in a way that it, with color and graphics that's easy to understand and makes less workload for the pilot. Okay. So Jeff, let's get airborne and check the qualities of ISA radar. Excellent. Okay, you ready? Taking off. Have at it. Lift up and after right. Rotate about 165 knots. There you go. Pull it back. Perfect. Get the uh, gear up. And add an afterburner now. Perfect. Now, just go ahead and feel, just feel how the stick, go ahead and roll it left and right a little bit. You can see it's very sensitive. You can just fly with your fingers. Exactly. Okay, perfect. That's exactly how it feels too. Very sensitive in the airplane, which allows it to be highly maneuverable. Okay, now we're gonna take your SAR picture so what you're going to do is you've just been given up there. It says you've been sent a data link message. It says okay. that purple says, can you support a close air target? And if you said, I will comply, you hit the will code button down there. So hit the will code button. The top will code button. Perfect. You've now told your ground controller that you are going to attack the target they want you to attack. Okay. And you're going to move over there and designate that. I'm going to put your thumb on this cursor and move the cursor up. I'm going to put this right here, right, and move it right over that triangle, which is what they've designated. A little to the left, a little further to the left, a little further to the left. That's it, right over the triangle. Now you designate that target by pushing up right here. You got it. You've just designated the target that you're going to bomb. Make sense? Okay. Now all you have to do is uh, we'll go into attack mode here, push the attack button there, and we're going to go into that's the ESA air-to-air -air radar, which can be operating simultaneously, but with a flick of your thumb, we'll go over to SAR mode. This is the SAR uh, mode radar. Turn it on, pull it out of standby, push that. There you go. And uh, it says that um, it, it has a SAR picture, and you want to take a SAR picture of that target you've designated. So simply click it like you're taking a, this one right here, this button. Click it like you're taking a camera picture. And there, it has taken a, a uh, this is a cartoon representation okay. of the SAR map. And I see the tank right here. So now what you do is use that same thumb cursor over here to move that, that blue cross right over that tank. Very good. Put it right there. Perfect. And then I want you to redesignate that as right where you want to take one more picture. Right there. It shifted it slightly. Click and take another picture right over the tank. Hmm. Okay, move it over. Perfect. All right. Now, you've also pointed your targeting flare right at that picture. Okay. So now you've, you've, you've set it up and you said, I don't want to take all the time to run the airplane. I'm going to turn on the autopilot right here. Click that. Okay. And um, I'm going to take it out. In a minute, I'm going to tell you to go to cruise control on the auto throttle. Just in a minute, we're going to get a little faster. You ready to go? Yep. Select uh, HNAVGC so it'll automatically fly you to the target. And here we go. The airplane has now taken over. It's turning you. Did you notice that? Yeah. 
and select altitude select there, altitude hold. It will hold you at the altitude you're at right now, and it's turning you toward the target. Okay. Are you with me? Yep. Okay, so and you can see right up here, you're 21 miles away from the target. Okay. And you're headed out there. The target is depicted by that triangle. Okay. Right out there. And so now, <clears throat> you are in uh, nav mode. I want to go to attack mode. I want you to hit that so you can, and it says I've selected a, a bomb for you. Here's the bomb you've selected, right? Okay. And now what you simply do is you go over that little, you're in wide field of view. Once you select narrow field of view, right there. Beautiful. And designate that target with your thumb right here. Click up and release. It's got it. You see how it's got it? Yep. Okay, so now you've selected a target. You can now, um, I'm going to put your thumb on this cursor and move the cursor up. I'm going to put this right here right and move it right over that triangle which is what they designated a little to the left a little further to the left a little further to the left that's it right over the triangle now you designate that target by pushing up right here you got it you've just designated the target that you're going to bomb make sense okay now all you have to do is uh, we'll go into attack mode here push the attack button there and we're going to go into that's the ESA air-to-air -air radar, which can be operating simultaneously, but with a flick of your thumb, we'll go over to SAR mode. This is the SAR uh, mode radar. Turn it on, pull it out of standby, push that. There you go. And uh, it says that um, it, it has a SAR picture, and you want to take a SAR picture of that target you've designated. So simply click it like you're taking a, this one right here, this button. Click it like you're taking a camera picture. And there... It has taken a, a uh, this is a cartoon representation okay. of the SAR map. And I see the tank right here. So now what you do is use that same thumb cursor over here to move that, that blue cross right over that tank. Very good. Put it right there. Perfect. And then I want you to redesignate that as right where you want to take one more picture. Right there. It shifted it slightly. Click and take another picture right over the tank. Hmm. Okay, move it over. Perfect. All right. Now, you've also pointed your targeting flare right at that picture. Okay. So now you've, you've, you've set it up and you said, I don't want to take all the time to run the airplane. I'm going to turn on the autopilot right here. Click that. Okay. And um, I'm going to take it out. In a minute, I'm going to tell you to go to cruise control on the auto throttle. Just in a minute, we're going to get a little faster. You ready to go? Yep. Select uh, HNAVGC so it'll automatically fly you to the target. And here we go. The airplane is now taken over. It's turning you. Did you notice that? Yeah. And select altitude select there. Altitude hold. It will hold you at the altitude you're at right now, and it's turning you toward the target. Okay. Are you with me? Yep. Okay. So and you can see right up here, you're 21 miles away from the target. Okay. And you're headed out there. The target is depicted by that triangle. Okay. Right out there. And so now, <clears throat> you are in... Uh, nav mode, I want to go to attack mode. I want you to hit that so you can, and it says I've selected a, a bomb for you. Here's the bomb you've selected, right? Okay. And now what you simply do is you go over that little, you're in wide field of view. Once you select narrow field of view, right there. Beautiful. And designate that target with your thumb right here. Click up and release. It's got it. You see how it's got it? Yep. Okay, so now you've selected a target. You can now... Um